So I told y'all that I wanted to do something different and I was gonna start doing some things different. I'm sorry about the the light in here. Um, it's early on a Saturday morning. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. Um, it's 7.15 in the morning. Um, and I am going creek jumping this morning, I guess you could say. There's two creeks that I've always, I've, I've passed by them a, a million times uh, here locally where I live um, out in our, in our county. And um, I've never tried to fish them, but I've seen people fishing them before. So I am on my way to the first one. Um, I've got my ultralights with me. I've got the Rapala. I've got a um, beetle spin. So we're gonna throw those and just see what happens in these creeks. I don't know, we had a lot of rain yesterday, so I don't know if they're real high, fresh water, I don't know. But we're gonna go try it anyway and see what happens. So stay with me. First stop. It's just a small, real small creek that runs through here. I gotta watch for snakes, y'all. I've seen <clears throat> so many snakes this year already. It's just really crazy. But it's a cool little creek, man. Look at this. Gotta watch for the snakes, though. Golly, this looks so snaky. But I got a, a little Rapala on. I don't know if we'll catch anything or not, y'all, but got a lot of rain last night, and um, I don't know what I don't know what could possibly be in the creek, but I'm sure there's like bass in it and brim and stuff. I've seen people fish here before. Um, but with all the rain we had yesterday, I just I just don't know. I'm kinda digging the the whole kinda digging the whole uh, sandy thing here. Kinda digging that. Pretty little creek. It's high. I mean, I've seen it real low before. But we've had so much rain the last couple of days, and it rained like crazy yesterday. So I understand it being high this morning. And I need, oh, there's, I had a hit. Another hit. Pretty good little hits right there. Oh, come on, buddy. Really? You gonna You gonna do me that way? <laughs> oh, oh, he hit it again. And there's no telling what it is. It's probably a little brim or something. I wouldn't doubt if they got, I wouldn't doubt if someone got cameras down here somewhere. Just gotta watch out for snakes, y'all. That's all. Snakes, snakes, and most snakes. Look at this. Kinda opens up back here a pretty good bit. Just gotta watch for snakes, boys. Daddy don't want to get no snakes. No, sir. I don't. Look at this. Might be something back here, y'all. It's a pretty cool creek. See, 
got tires right here and it's kind of might be a fun little creek to kayak in to be honest with you I can't stand here too long, man. I'm sinking in it. There's one. Oh my goodness, that's a good hit. Good hit, y'all. Right there. I missed him. I figured something might be laying in there. You know, these little creeks run through South Georgia down here where I live and there's just tons of these little creeks everywhere and you know a lot of people pass by them and don't even think twice about fishing them because this this creek has to come from somewhere it's coming from somewhere I promise you <laughs> the water has to <laughs> so you know you, you never know when you might what you might catch or uh, and I, I've seen people fishing this creek before uh, and I've heard of people catching good fish out of this creek now I, it's obviously high and it's running <clears throat> a lot swifter than usual and I think that's probably a, a, the big that's probably the big problem this morning there's so much fresh water and um i mean it's running pretty good as you can see but these these creeks run through south georgia like this everywhere and i watch a guy on i watch a guy here on youtube um and he does stuff like this he goes just creek creek jumping and okay he catches a lot of fish now he's in tennessee he mostly fishes the tennessee area and um he catches a lot of uh, spotted bass and a lot of um, smallmouth where he's at. Now, granted, down here in South Georgia, they're they're not called smallmouth; they're called shoal bass. Some of them, shoal bass. Some people call them swanee bass. When, of course, the shoal bass and the swanee bass are technically two different. Well, they are two different fish. And they're in these creeks, in these streams. They, they, they are. It's just, you know, the one morning I get up, I, don't, I want to come try these little creeks. We got a lot of rain last night, and it's going to screw my, it's going to screw my, uh, my idea up. But, you know, it's, it is what it is. I'm having fun regardless. I mean, I got yards to do today and just thought I'd try something different. You just never know. Don't know until you try, y'all. Don't know until you try. So we tried our first spot, this little creek here. Um, I mean, you know, it's, it's a pretty cool creek. Um, I've seen people fishing this creek before, and I know there's fish. There, I know there's fish here, um, but we got a lot of rain last night. We got a lot of rain last night, um, and the creek's higher than usual. So, for the one morning I wanted to come out and try some creek jumping, we get a lot of rain, and yeah, obviously it screws little creeks like this up. So, anyway. We're gonna go try another one. See what it looks like. May not be nothing there either, but we're trying. Look at here. <laughs> he ain't even trying. He's like, oh, you got me. You got me. <laughs> I didn't get skunked. He's the size of the Whopper Plopper, but I didn't get skunked. Ain't that something? But the Whopper Plopper. The old Whopper Plopper got him. We 
but y'all gotta be careful with these daggum hooks in this whopper plopper they are a beast well buddy go tell your mom and daddy i'm here this morning how about it well i'm tired of getting skunked i didn't get skunked i actually caught a fish it was the size of the whopper plopper but it was it was a fish anyway it's a nice saturday morning y'all I, I it's the day before mother's day and um you know i went and tried to creek out that i've been wanting to try but we got so much rain last night I know, i've said that a million times in this video and it's just got everything screwed up even my even my little pond back here is nothing so i'm going home to um do some yard work get some stuff done around the house do the, the honeydew list and get some things done around there so until next time i appreciate you guys watching i appreciate all the people that have subscribed to katie water and woods please spread the word about katie water and woods um you know i'm gonna post videos whether i catch fish or not i tell you all that all the time because this is not a channel where you're gonna come here and i'm always just gonna catch the biggest baddest bass you know i'm gonna post exactly what fishing is all about Sometimes you go and you catch some, and sometimes you don't. My pond is probably one of the hottest ponds in South Georgia, but you know what? Sometimes I don't catch crap out of it. It is what it is. Anyway, until next time, thank y'all so much for watching. Thank y'all for being a part of Katie Water and Woods. And, in, and until next time, keep fishing, keep trying, because I am. I'm going home, do some yard work, maybe drink a cold brew in a little while, and maybe get in that pool a little later. I don't know. We'll see. Thank y'all.